50 seconds from now, and back engine chill. Uh, there'll be three events in quick succession. The main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will start its Merlin vacuum engine, uh, which you heard is just beginning its own chill procedure. happening just a few seconds from now. major event is uh, the fairing deploy coming up just a few seconds from now. That's the second stage that will be deploying its fairing. Eagle is on the and there you see the, the fairings falling away behind. Uh, there's a Still, they're light, they're made of carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb, but they still represent excess mass, so we, we uh, no longer need them once we get out of the atmosphere. Those of you just joining us, we had three uh, events in rapid succession. We had a main engine cutoff on that first stage. We had a stage separation event, and then we had a second stage light, uh, followed quickly then by a fairing separation. Everything's going great right now. Uh, Falcon 9 is looking uh, pretty good. Uh, right now, let's go over what we can see on your screen. On the left-hand side, that's a camera mounted on the top of the first stage of the rocket, looking down towards the nine Merlin engines at the bottom. Uh, in that view, you can see those titanium grid fins. Uh, they slowly deployed just after stage separation, and those grid fins will allow the Falcon 9 first stage to guide itself back down towards the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. You can see uh, brief flashes of those cold gas thrusters as they guide, uh, pro provide additional control authority for that first stage. On the right-hand side of your screen is a camera mounted at the very bottom of the second stage looking down towards the Merlin vacuum nozzle. Uh, of course, at the very other end of that stage is the Bangamandu Satellite 1. Uh, right now, that Merlin vacuum engine is glowing red hot with those exhaust gases as it propels Bangamandu Satellite 1 into its final geostationary transfer orbit. Falcon 9 first stage today is going to perform two burn maneuvers in order to get back down towards the drone ship. Uh, the first burn is going to be an entry burn coming up in about 30 seconds. 
you'll be able to see that entry burn start on the left hand side of your screen. As a reminder, those uh, bursts of uh, clouds coming out of the Falcon 9 first stage on the left are those cold gas thrusters that, in addition to the titanium grid fins, allow it to provide or control itself as it comes back down through the atmosphere. There's the start of the entry At this point, the Falcon 9 first stage is actually only about 10% of the mass that it was in the pad. So it's actually pretty empty of fuel and liquid oxygen right now. So this entry burn is only going to last a few more seconds before cutting off. And there it is. As that first stage gets closer and closer to the surface of the Earth, uh, we should be able to see features such as clouds, waves, and eventually the outline of our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. It looks like there may be some condensation forming on the inside of the camera, but uh, we should get some good, uh, good video. Um, on the right-hand side of your screen, again, that second stage is still continuously uh, propelling Bangamandu Satellite 1 into orbit. Uh, looks like we may have lost video from the cameras on that first stage momentarily. Uh, we'll see if we can get them back. Uh, it, one thing that is unique about this mission uh, is that the second stage engine cutoff is going to happen just before the landing, coming up in about 20 seconds or so. You can see in your mission status bar at the very bottom, the second stage engine cutoff and landing are right on top of each other, so uh, be prepared for those two events to happen in quick succession. So it looks like we don't have a great video signal with that first stage right now, but we do have confirmation the landing burn has started. Those landing legs should be deploying very soon. There it is. We did have a successful second stage engine cutoff of that uh, second stage carrying Bangamandu Satellite 1. Uh, so uh, while we're all very excited here at SpaceX to recover our 25th booster, uh, the primary mission is still to bring Bangamandu Satellite 1 into geostationary transfer orbit. Uh, right now everything's looking good from that second stage. Uh, it's going to coach for about 17 minutes or so. We're not going to be with you for all of that. We're actually going to just look at a simulation of where that second stage is. However, we will come back in approximately 9 or 10 minutes to guide through the rest of the satellite deployment.
Welcome back. Uh, we're in the last few minutes of uh, today's launch. Uh, we had a successful launch at 4.14 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, great stage separation. We caught the first stage on the drone ship, of course, I Still Love You. And the second stage had an excellent burn. Maintained great uh, chamber pressure through the whole time. Uh, and during the coast period, it's been keeping its propellants well settled in their tanks, which is important for uh, uh, getting the second stage its second burn. That's coming up uh, just a few seconds from... Oh, happening right now. Uh, this burn is going to last for a total of about years above the surface of the Earth into a geostationary transfer orbit where the maximum altitude is 36,000 kilometers uh, above the surface of the Earth. So uh, in these few minutes before separation at this point, only a couple more things are going to be happening. We're bleeding our propellant lines down uh, to bring down the pressure in the plumbing. Uh, after the burn is complete, that is, uh, which is, should be happening uh, in about 15 or 20 seconds. And there you saw it. Uh, the second stage completed its second burn. Let's take a few moments to make sure that we've entered the expected order information that we are in a good final orbit. Uh, so now uh, there are only a couple minutes before that payload deploy, and that's when we're bleeding down the propellant lines to bring down the pressure in the plumbing. Uh, the propellant that used to be in those lines for giving some time to uh, float away from the vehicle. Uh, after that, we'll slowly spin the stage and payload to a rotation of one and a half degrees per second, a rotational rate. Uh, then we'll release the satellite and let it gently float away on its geostationary transfer orbit. Uh, that deploy event is going to be coming up in just about uh, four minutes from now.
15 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we successfully separated the two stages, caught the first stage, uh, had two burns of the second stage with a coast period in between, and as you just saw, Bangabandu uh, Sat is floating, uh, Bangabandu Satellite 1 is floating away. As you can tell, uh, the crowd here at SpaceX is extremely excited. Uh, it's a good day for both us and for NATO and Bangladesh. At this point, we're going to bring the coverage of the webcast to a close. Uh, SpaceX would like to thank our customer, Thomas Lania Spas, and their customer, the Bangladesh Telecommunication Regulatory Commission. Uh, we'd also like to thank the U.S. Air Force, the range, and the Federal Aviation Administration for supporting the launch. And, of course, thank you, the viewer, for tuning in today. Uh, if you'd like to join us, uh, check us out at spacex.com slash careers to contribute to some of the work that we're doing. Uh, otherwise, look for updates on our next mission on our social platforms uh, or our website. Uh, thank you again.